hi welcome back to my channel it's me Ivana Brooke and I am back with a new video a review this is the Dior forever matte foundation with SPF 15 I got shade matched at Sephora and my shade is 4.5 warm pretty classic and this retails for $52. Wearing it right now, it is. Mm, 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 I applied this at eight, so it's about almost a nine hour wear right now. I have not touched it up actually, so I would say it's pretty good. So let's start with texture. This is your classic traditional liquid foundation. It does have a bit of a scent to it. I don't love it. It's very classic makeup. It reminds me of like my mom's makeup drawer. It's not my favorite, but it doesn't linger, so I'm okay with it. I don't really smell it even when I'm applying it on my face. I kind of just smell it like here when I'm pumping it. Um, so the application is definitely a bit of a fuller coverage when you use a brush, and it is a lighter coverage when you use a sponge. All in all, I don't think it gets too far away from the claim of being medium coverage. It's definitely a medium coverage foundation. Um, I would say it definitely blends very easily into the skin. Even the skin tone, I think, is pretty true to tone. Or I ordered it online at Sephora, and I actually selected a shade that was maybe three or four shades darker so the online like the swatches that you see online are nothing like how they turn up on your skin um so to me that's not necessarily a bad thing because it means there's actually quite a few darker shades than you would think um and i believe there's 40 shades in the shade range i'm not entirely sure but i'm pretty sure and i really really like that like i like that it it, it i like that it um leans a little darker i like that the shade range leans a little darker i think that's okay that's fine with me i wish the pictures online were a little more accurate but i got shade matched at sephora that little like thing they have and i have my mask on so they really shade match it to like this area of my face and it perfectly matches this area of my face i did add a little bronzer since that application um but i haven't done any touching up so all the like oil and stuff that you see is very accurate let's talk about the coverage it is definitely medium and buildable i don't think it's quite buildable to a full coverage i just don't think it has like as you can see i mean this is like oil exaggerating my pores but you will always be able to see your pores and not in a bad way not in a way that they don't ever look improved but in a way of like this will look like skin this foundation was made to look like skin in my opinion it gives very much skin at all times it gives very expensive skin though like that was kind of my first impression when I first wore it. I was like, okay, I look good. I definitely look like, a, like it looks like the end of the day a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? But it also looks like oh, the end of a very good day. Like it, it, mm, it looks good. Like it's very flexible. There's no creasing, cracking. It just looks very much put together. And I love that. One thing that I do have a problem with, but I think I might've found the solution. Um, I thought that this foundation wasn't too matte. Like, I thought it wasn't matte enough to be called a matte foundation. I haven't tried the, the Radiant Finish one or the, the Dewy one, but I did think I was like, huh, matte. And so I was using my Laura Mercier powder. Sorry, I don't even have the top on it. But the Laura Mercier powder today, I set it with the, I probably don't have the top on this one either, I don't, um, with the e.l.f. HD powder, which hmm, notorious for flashback, but baby, if you want a matte face, like I looked matte all day. I look matte after brunch till my nail appointment. Like this is the first time I'm noticing even a little bit of oil, and this is nothing for me. Like y'all and me, I am oily combo skin, and uh, the oily parts of my skin are oily, 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 and I have not. Once again, for the last time, I have not touched up. So I think that this is honestly because the fact that I turned to my side and like. Cause usually like I would have my whole everything. This looks like a dewy foundation right after setting with my Laura Mercier. So definitely pair this with a powder that works well. I have noticed that I don't ever feel like I have a true matte with the um, Laura Mercier powder, although I love it and I love the finish. Uh, I'm now seeing that there are more matte powders out there and this holds onto powder very well. So it, it's definitely a comfortable matte before using that powder. I was a little like, 
Matt. Mm, who's Matt? Did he create this foundation? Because I don't see Matt on my face. But now it's giving very much matte. Let's run down the claims. My favorite part of every review. I will check off what they did right and I'll check off what they lied about. No, they might not be lying. They just don't have my same opinion and perspective. Anyways, so it claims to be a hydrating foundation. I do agree with this. I do think that this foundation, um, number one, goes onto your skin beautifully. It never leaves me feeling dry, cakey. It don't, it doesn't. Like your skin will always just look like at most matte skin, never dry. And your skin feels good overall. Next, I would say the medium coverage, correct. I'm glad that they didn't, um, excuse me. I'm glad that they didn't over boost it or anything. Sometimes I feel like when people do a matte foundation, they just go straight to, it's matte and full coverage because it's matte. And it's like, no, no, this is a medium. This is a true, true medium. I appreciate that they are very realistic with that for sure. Next, the matte finish. I definitely think it could be a little more matte. If you are a super oily person, I think it's gonna show up beautifully on your skin and look good, but I don't know how it will wear because, you know, this is a little shiny at the end of the day. It's not perfectly matte, which in my opinion is fine because I'm really used to the glow. But yeah, I think matte, it's matte. But it's more so matte because it holds on to powder well and doesn't have like an extra glowy base to it there's just something about that matte claim that it's 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 spot on but it could be it could mean something else to someone else you know what i'm saying like there's room for interpretation depending on your idea of matte for sure and then they do have one kind of big claim. So this foundation is supposed to visibly improve your skin over time. And I found that a very interesting claim, but I will also admit ever since I've used this foundation, I've been using it for the past month and I have noticed that my skin is looking good and not just, oh, my skin's looking good, but it, it hasn't been breaking out as much. It looks good. Like it looks good. So I, I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's just a really hard claim to judge personally, especially because I haven't tried a lot of makeup that says, we're gonna make your skin look better. Um, and they're not very specific on how. It's not like, oh, anti-breakout or oh. It just says it visibly improves your skin over time. But it is, it is, listen to this. 86% of this foundation is skincare ingredients, which I'm kind of like, okay, what's one percent? is a regular foundation. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Is it just like, is there glycerin in it? For the $52 price tag, is this foundation worth it? I think so. I really do think so. I, mm, there's something about it that I really like. And if the fragrance is gonna bother you, it's not gonna be worth it for you. If you are extremely oily, and I would say get a get a sample, get, go to Sephora, get a sample, definitely get shade matched if you can, uh, because the shade range online is a little off, but go get a sample in your shade if you're really oily and see if this is something worth it for you and compare it to your foundations. That would be my number one tip. I'm gonna touch up real quick so we can just, you know, just assess. Here is the size of a cordage, but I'm looking good. Okay. It looks good. It honestly looks like when I first applied it. And that's honestly saying something because I've worn a mask for the past like three hours. I was getting my nails done, so I had to wear a mask. Let me know if this was on your radar. Have you tried it? Let me know. What did you think about the shade range? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like. If you like me, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram, Ivana Brooke. And if you'd like something reviewed, feel free to leave it down below. Hair, makeup, skincare, or otherwise. And I hope this video found you in the best place possible. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. The fuck I'm doing me, bitch? Like, I... Like, you can do you. That's the thing. That's the great part about the world. Is that you can do you and I'm gonna do me, but do you over there, away from me.